Shall we go and speak with Sir Lennart, Master? Allow me to guide you, Master. I know the person you're looking for. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider that... Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take... If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Thieves favor light armor, which leaves them more vulnerable to attacks than those of other vacations. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer agility. It is a vocation for those who seek to master the mystical arts, magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in counting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. It is a vocation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow. At close range, however, a bow is nary more useful than a walking stick. Aye, the secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance between you and your foes. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray... Moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something?
Do come again. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Let us speak with everyone we can think of who might know aught of use. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Sir Gregor wishes to speak with you, Master. Shall we go to him? Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We have arrived. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Good. Then let us be on our way. As a matter of fact, curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Each to their own. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not cut down our guard. A flawless execution. Let us try for the same results with our next attack. The battle continues. A result to be proud of. Avoid flame at any cost of it. You should be doused in oil. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all claims are true. Our king sees many pretenders. They are not justified. As there I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take e Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? Another statue? Mayhap will yield us sort of use. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Should you ever have further need of a marksman, my bow is ever at your service. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so.
Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all- An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying the- It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the- If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however... All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or it may have befallen it. Best we press on. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Pray, have patience with me, Master. I've shared all I know. Where ought we to go now? Forgotten something arisen? Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the world.
freshly rested as we are, this battle will take Try not to get hit, lest all that boom go to waste. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. I'll hold on to this. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Look there. He thinks I spy ought of use. He ought to take a place in the feel so alive. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Good sleep is the key to a good adventure.
What's this? We're trapped. Encounter one here of all the places. Cyclops, right. Be on your guard. This place has caught the temple. When we are here, the rage to our lord. I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. Tis your decision. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ops cart and we'll be off. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Would allow us to save our... Assuming we are not attacked, that is.
Very well. I shall lend you my aid. You do seem to be in need of it. Farewell, Arisen. I only wish that I could stay. Ah, oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. That looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Seems we drove them off. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad source. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. 
That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days past, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead. However, with your Majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? I shall brook no such quietude is a blessing. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you. Aha! That oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait.
Whoever's my replacement's in for a boot up the arse. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Welcome to Bjorn's armor, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the... Price, just remember, I hope to see you again. that this land was once a kingdom of Beastrans. Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just is not a matter for prying ears. Pray. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to death. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. 
The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Only select members of the nobility and citizens. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks or needed. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had rip next this half village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern end. Off we go then. There are beasts to be slain. There is surely no challenge to which we cannot rise. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness spores can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time, I will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour.
You know where to find me. Your leisure. 